Hello guys, it's Sayyid Muhammad Wakar and back with another video. In this video, I will tell you guys about the fresh air CFM calculation. So, there I have uh, opened the drawing for the school project. I will show you our different areas for fresh air CFM calculation. So, let's start. So, first, uh, I will calculate the fresh air CFM for this uh, chemistry and bio lab. So, in order to calculate the fresh air CFM, I have made this excel sheet as you can see over here. What we need over here is the room area, CFM per square feet, number of persons and CFM per person. And uh, total fresh air will be the sum of CFM1 plus CFM2. So, let's start for chemistry and bio lab. As you can see, the area of this uh, chemistry and bio lab from here this much is the weight 10.9 meter is the weight of this lab and 13.2 uh, meter is the length of this uh, lab so area will be 8.4 times 13.2 that is uh, 110.88 square meters also this area is also included so this is 300 that is uh, 3 meter by 1.6 meter is this area plus uh, 1.5 meter into 1.4 meter is this area so that total area uh, will also be added in the chemistry and lab because this is a part of this uh, chemistry and bio lab area so let us add this area that is 3 meter by 1.6 meter that is 4.8 square meters plus uh, 1.5 into 1.4 meters 4.8 1.5 into 1.4 plus 4.8 that is 6.9 square meters 6.9 square meters plus we have already calculated that area 8.4 into 13.2 uh, into 13.2 110.88 plus 6.9 so the total area is 117.78 uh, square meters but we have to put that area over here in the square feet so in order to convert that square meters into square feet we will multiply it by 10.76 so 1267 square feet is the area of this lab 1268 ok now go for computer lab and classroom so I will show you one more over here that is computer lab as you can see the length of the room is 1.2 meter uh, 12 meters sorry and uh, width is about 8 meter so total area will be 8 meter by 12 meter that is 96 square meters but we need to convert this into square feet so multiply it by 10.76 so we'll get 1033 square feet 1033 square feet now I will calculate uh, one of the classroom also as you can see this is the classroom and its length is 12 meters and width is 8 meters so it's same as computer lab so area will be same as computer lab so let's move to the next column that is CFM per square feet for this I have opened this uh, HAP software if you will go to the spaces and then go to new default space from here we can select the ventilation requirement as per ASHRAE standard 62.1 so what we have over here is uh, science uh, lab that is chemistry bio lab so if we will scroll down over here 
uh, as you can see education science lab there is chemistry bio lab so we can select this over here and you can see the cfm per person over here is 10 as per HVA standard and cfm per square feet required for science chemistry lab is 0.18 so 10 cfm per person and 0.18 cfm per square feet so 10 cfm per person and uh, how much 0.18 yeah 0.18 cfm per square feet 0.18 cfm per square feet as i have already applied this formula this room area into cfm per square feet will get first cfm you can see over here this and this will get the cfm one that is 228 now if, uh, how to get the number of persons usually from the architecture you can get the number of persons how many persons will occupy this uh, chemistry and bio lab and uh, computer lab and classroom so let's assume the number of persons in uh, chemistry bio lab will be 15 so this cfm2 will be calculated as follow this number of persons into cfm you will get this cfm2 so total cfm how you get this total cfm total cfm will be the sum of this first cfm room area into cfm per square feet plus number of persons into cfm per person so total cfm will be cfm1 that is 228 plus cfm2 150 so total is 378 cfm for chemistry in bio lab in the same way you can calculate the computer lab and classroom so i will show you again let's go for computer lab in the education so there it is education computer lab you can select from here so cfm per person is 10 and uh, outdoor air requirement is uh, cfm per square feet is 0.12 so this is 0.12 and uh, 10 cfm per person and we use the same number of persons here also so again this cfm area of this lab into cfm per square feet will get cfm1 and number of persons in multiply by cfm per person will get cfm2 and total cfm for computer lab will be the sum of this cfm1 and cfm2 that is 273.96 274 cfm so let's calculate for classroom also so this is the education classroom for grade six students so let's go for classroom age nine plus and the cfm per person is 10 and cfm per square feet for classroom is 0.12 so this again 0.12 and this one is uh, 10 cfm per person and number of person will take same or we can check from architecture so total cfm required for classroom is again 274 so if you need to calculate the total cfm for these three areas chemistry bio lab computer lab and the classroom it will be the sum of these three cfm that is calculated over here is the sum so this is how you can calculate the fresh air cfm for each and every room so in the same way you can find the cfm for other classrooms in this video i will tell you guys about the uh, exhaust cfm calculation so there i have a drawing in which i will show you for one of the toilet as you can see that uh, this toilet its length is 200 centimeter and width about 130 centimeter so it's 2 meter by 1.3 meter this is the area of this toilet so for exhaust cfm calculation we know that the area of this toilet is 2 into 1.3 so it will be 2 into 1.3 square meters so as per architectural drawing we can see the height of the toilet wall is about 3 meters so it's 3 meter 
so in order to calculate the volume that would be area into the height of the toilet so as we know that area is 2.6 and uh, height is 3 so 2.6 into 3 we will get 7.8 cubic meter is the volume of that toilet So in order to calculate the exhaust CFM, we have to use this formula volume into air changes per hour divided by 60. But this volume it should be in cubic feet. So in order to convert that uh, volume into cubic feet uh, from cubic meter, we need to multiply it by 35.28 conversion factor. So 7.8 into 3 35.28. will get 275.18 cubic feet so as per ASHRAE standard for toilet, pantry, kitchen we are taking air changes per hour is about 8 to 12 so this ACH is basically air changes per hour so as I told you about the ASH from the ASHRAE standard toilet, pantry and the kitchen it's about 8 to 12 so we are going to take uh, air changes per hour over air is 10 so this is the volume which we have calculated above so we have to use this volume over here that is 275.18 into air changes per hour that is 10 for the toilet divided by 60 so how much we will get into 10 divided by 60 that is 45.86 45.86 CFM so this is the CFM exhaust CFM required for 2.6 square meters area of the toilet so if you have seen my previous videos regarding uh, duct sizing calculation I can show you over here again by using this duct sizer program so the flow rate you know that 45.86 will use around 46 cfm and head loss as i told you 0 0.06 inches of water column per 100 feet if you have seen the previous videos i have explained it over there so as you can see that we have put this two parameters flow rate and head loss we can get the duct size over here let's say 6 by 8 by 3 no 6 by 3 no 4 by 6 yeah if we change this one to 4 because we have to keep this in even numbers so 6 by 4 inches is the good size for this duct or if you go for round it will be 4.9 inches sorry 46 cfm so it will be around 5 inches so 5 inches uh, will be round out uh, uh, will be round off and it will get 6 inches so you will use 6 inches over here for that much cfm so this is how you can calculate the exhaust cfm for the